And back here on Chicagoland SportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com, simul broadcast of the championship bracket, which is the gold bracket. It's going to be the Illinois Illini taking on the Wisconsin Badgers of Wisconsin. I know that's a bit redundant, but that's just the way I like to roll. So <laughs> that's how things are going to go. We got the, the Illini coming in. If they can beat the Badgers here, they will be the outright champions. And then from there on out, we have to, if, uh, if the Badgers win, they have to go based on points, games played, matches, all that sort of stuff. So if the Illini lose... It's going to be a uh, a uh, a very big difference of what's going to happen here. Yeah, it gets really complicated if uh, if Illinois loses. Yeah. Very simple if they win. They win, they win it all. If they lose, then it gets tough. <laughs> and starting things off for the Badgers is going to be number five, Bailey Reschel. She has got the thumbs taped up and the standing serves straight over the top. Going to be picked up back row by Burks. Toss over right side. Slam down. Going to be picked up back row. Back set, slide over. That one's going to drop down on the, the side of the Illini. Give the point to the Badgers. That one right there. Oh, nope, I lied. That one's going to drop down on the side of the, the Badgers. Give the point to the Illini. Back to serve for the Illini is Ann Lurson. Going to be bumped back over 10-foot line. Going to hit off the dip of number five. Punched over. Going to be bumped over sideways. Going to be by Jocelyn Burks. Picked up down low. Sent crossover over to Carlson. Dug out deep. Going to be sent over by number five, Beltran. Over to number 13. That's going to be Allie Starks. Give the point to the Illini. Starting things off fast. Yeah, good start. 2-0 here against Wisconsin. Who's coming off that loss to Michigan State. They kind of want to try and redeem themselves here if they can. Lurson back to serve. Jump serve over the top. Sends it over left hand. Going to be bumped over. That one's going to be off the tip and sends out of the back. Can't get there as Morgan Criswell in the back. Kill is going to be by number 10, Alexis Mitchell. And she is back to serve. 2-1 is your score. Standing serve. Going to be picked up by Jocelyn Burks. Bumped over left side. Going to be tipped over the top by number 14, Liz McMahon. Bumped back row, 10-foot line. Going to be by number 5, Sent over, left-hand side, double block, and not going to be picked up by Chriswell. Beautiful double block right there by Allie, or Ellen Chapman and number 13, Mary Ording. Well, two rivals going at it here again, Kyle. Can't expect it to, to be too easy of a matchup either way, even though Illinois has been one of the better teams we've seen here today. Yep. Almost blocked down on the front. Going to be bumped over sideways by Liz McMahon. Sipped over the top by number three, Thompson. Bump back row, going to be sent over by Anna Dorn. Tipped over the top, going to be slide kill. Nope, blocked out in front once again. Sent over to Carlson, who's going to send it over to Burks. Picked up by the Illini, back set, left-hand side. Going to be tipped over the top, but going to be called for running, or getting called for the lift is going to be number 14, Liz McMahon, once again. Back to serve for the Badgers. Alexis Mitchell, standing on the left-hand side, sends that one. What's that? Going to be picked up, and that one's going to be sent down by number five, Anna Dorn. As the score is now 3-3, three, three. and back to serve is Jocelyn Burks. A little bit of a jump serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up. Back row, sent over the top, going to be jousted out in front, going to be picked up, tried to dump over the top, and she's going to get it. It's Courtney Thomas, beautiful, beautiful slap over the top right there by Thomas, getting the point for the Badgers. As it seems to be the trend, whoever gets the point for the Badgers is going back to serve. Yeah, it's funny, they had that same trend in the last game too. Thomas, big jump serve, going to be picked up by Beltran, sent over left-hand side, over to number one, Morgan Criswell, but she sends that one into the net. And give the point to the Badgers, bump it up to 5-3. Yeah, she had a lot on it, just missed it. Thomas, big jump serve, once again going to be picked up by Beltran, sends that one over, and that one's going to be a joust to the net, as number 13, Mary Ording, 
slams that one back down on the side of the Illini as the Badgers continue to roll here 6-3. Thomas back to serve once again. Sends that one out of the back of the court as that one didn't snap down like she's used to. 6-4. Yeah, and you'll take that one if you're Illinois, especially because she was serving really well there. Get you back to within that two points as well. Yeah, you got to gotta take them when you can get them. 6-4 here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. Dr. Er, <laughs> Kyle Griffin alongside Chris Labosco. Going to be sent over left-hand side. Going to be picked up by number 11 cleanly. That's going to be Lurson. Bump back over right-hand side. Going to be pounded over by McMahon. And that one is going to be tipped out and uh, give the point to the Illini. For all of themselves back into this one. 6-5. Back to serve again is Beltran. Bounces it a couple of times. Wait for the signal from the R2. As she holds it out with her right hand. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends it over. Going to be picked up by Carlson. Thomas left-hand side. Carlson has to bump it over. Burke sends it over up front. Right-hand side. Going to be slapped down. Liz McMahon once again with the kill. Knotting things up. The Illini. 6-6. Six, six. Back to serve once again is Beltran. Got themselves back even and on the serve. Now it's can they hold on to it. Beltran. Sends that one over, going to be picked up, left-hand side by number five. And that one's going to be bumped out of play. As they're going to be called for two hits. And the Illini on a 3-0 run here as Beltran continues to serve her life for the Illini. Bounces it a couple of times. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one over the right-hand side, going to be picked up by Carlson. Thomas, bump, back over to Carlson, but she gets blocked at the net. As there's a joust, but that one, kind of an awkward situation as that one was uh, caught into the netting and falls down on the side of the Illini. Tie things back up, 7-7. Seven, seven. Back to serve, Carlson. Was trying to hit it down, but hit it down on their own side. Sorry, that's Chapman. Back over right-hand side. That one's going to be sent out of bounds by number 14, Liz McMahon. As Chapman sends that one down, and she's back to serve again. A little bit too far in that last one. They had a really good opportunity, but just didn't capitalize on it for Illinois. Burks picks that one up, send it over left-hand side. Slam down, Morgan Criswell. Beautiful right there. Good set up by Annie Lurson. That was just pretty. Back to serve for the Illini. The lethal Liz McMahon. A little bit of a hop serve, sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Anne-Marie Hickey. And slapped down on the side of the Badgers. Hitting into that double block. That is going to be Jessica Jendrick slapping that one down. Back to serve again, McMahon. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up cleanly. Thomas, left-hand side. Going to be picked up, sent over by number five. That's going to be Reschel. Sent down. Once again, Criswell shooting that cross-corner kill. And she is just on fire from that left side. Yeah, they were able to get it from the left side this time. Right side, they really couldn't get it before. But they got to keep going to it. That's one of their big strengths that they have over a lot of these teams. McMahon sends that over to Russell. Carl going to be sent over. Chapman over right-hand side. Russell picked up cleanly by number three, Baltran. Sends that one over. Going to be tipped over. And picked up cleanly, right-hand side, sends it over to Criswell. She is double blocked, one-on-one. -on -one. Julie Meckelson sends that one down on the side of the Illini. 10-9, the Badgers still fighting. Back to serve from JCA, Amory Hickey. Jump serve, sends that one over, gonna be picked up by Burks. Left-hand side, gonna be tipped over by Jessica Jendrick. And sent down. 11-9. The Illini continue to put points up when the Badgers give the serve back to them. Yeah. Criswell back to serve. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Hickey. Send over to Thomas. Slam down by number 10. That's going to be Mitchell. Left-hand side. Going to be blocked out in front. Picked up. Diversion out in front. Going to be sent down by Criswell. Picked up cleanly in the back row by Hickey. Thomas Back over right-hand side to Russell. Picked up by Beltran. Sent over to left-hand side. Burks, she's going to send that one. No tip. 
Oh, they are going to call the tip. That one's going to go to the Illini. I didn't think she caught the tip right there. Give the kill to Jocelyn Burks. And, and really that shows you how tough our angle is to see for that far side whether or not they did touch it or not. Criswell sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Chapman. Blocked out in front. Going one on two against the wall of Jendrick and Burks. You are not breaking through that one. 13-9. Timeout on the court. Going to take it out of the Badgers. And we're going to take it along with them. We'll be right back here on the dual presentation. ChicagoWomenSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. You know where you need to be to get your daily dose of news. Hawkeye has been shot. Sports. I want to eat your children. Entertainment and ignorance. And security in the world. Log on to Educated Insanity on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com where we interview musicians, rappers, comedians, and all sorts of ignorant people. So make sure you join me, J.R. Bank, along with him. Yeah, that'd be me too. Jay Washington, along with him. Illinois Jones. Yeah, yeah. For Educated Insanity. Wednesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Back here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. That one's going to be tipped right off the top of the, the block of Jendrick. Give the point to the Badgers. And coming in to serve for the Badgers is going to be number 18, Ellie Olander. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Burks. Picked up cleanly. Sent over by Lurson. Back over to Burks. Picked up cleanly by Chapman. Bumped by Amory. Sent over left-hand side. Rushel doesn't catch the back line. 14-10, Illini lead coming in to serve for the Illini. Jacqueline Wolf from Wheaton Warrenville South. Got a lot of home, uh, homegrown girls here for the Illini. Sends that one over. Right hand side. Gonna be picked up by Chapman. Thompson tries to Thomas tries to send that one over. Gonna be sent over by Ursh. Sent over down by Bergs, and she sends that one out of play. Give the ball back to the Badgers. 14-11. Yeah, keep the lead, keep the ball if you're Wisconsin right now. And I mean, like you said, they win this one, they make it really interesting to find out who the winner is. Rushell sends it over to Beltran. Right hand side, sends that one over. Double blocked out in front. Going to be picked up, but not being able to send over. Liz McMahon can't pick that one up cleanly as she sends that one into the stands. 14-12. Good timeout by the Badger coaching staff. If you're Michigan State, you really want to see Illinois lose and lose by a bunch. Yeah, yeah you do. But not Rushel too much. back to serve again. Picked up, left-hand side, sent down, and give the kill to Anna Dorn. Off the tip and out of the back of the court. 15-12 is your score. As the Illini tell the Badgers, whenever you get a point, I'm getting right back. Lurson, left-hand side, picked up by Thomas, sent over to Chapman, who sends that one down, and Morgan Criswell can't pick that one up cleanly. And point goes to the Badgers. Back to serve, Alexis Mitchell. Standing serve, sends that one over, going to catch the tape, going to be picked up by Beltran, sent over by Lurson, and down by, oh, going to be called four hits. As that one sent down by Anna Dorn, 16-13. Checking out is Burks, and checking in is Allie Stark from Mount Vernon, Iowa. The lefty hop surf sends that one over, going to be picked up by Hickey. Over to Thomas, over to Chapman, going to be picked up cleanly by Beltran, and it's going to send that one out of play on the opposite side. She was able to pick it up cleanly, but not able to put that that sort of backspin on it to keep it on the side of the Illini. Yeah, caused her team a point there, unfortunately. Courtney Thomas, the big jump serve, sends that one into the net. 17-14, Illini lead. But then that happens and you get the point right back. Yep, and the Libro, Jennifer Beltran, back to serve. Gets the signal, bounces it a couple of times. Love how they hold it out with the right hand. Jump serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up cleanly left-hand side, Rushel. Over to Chapman, sends that one over, going to be picked up by number 11, Lurson. 
Right hand side, sent down, and gives the kill to Liz McMahon. Woo! 18-14. Yeah, the Illini trying to keep control of this game. And a timeout taken. Another timeout taken by the Badgers. We're going to take it with them. 18-14 is your score. We'll be right back here on ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm shaking. My nose is running. Baby, I need a fix. Have you tried ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com? Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for the Chicago Sports Fix. Mondays? Baby girl, I don't think I can wait that long. I don't think I can wait till no Monday. Trust me, it's worth the wait. As Rob Zielinski, Josh Catlow, and Ken Morris will discuss all you need to know about Chicago sports and beyond. Baby, I didn't hear a word you just said on account of all the shaking and the hot and the cold. Could you repeat that, baby? That's Chicago Sports Fix. On Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. With Rob Zielinski, Josh Catlow, and Ken Morris. On Chicago News. And back here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com. That one's going to be picked up cleanly by number 11 for the Illini. Sent over right-hand side. Going to be picked up cleanly in the back row by the Badgers. Hickey sends that one over to Chapman. Going to be picked up by number 11, Annie Lurson. Sends it over towards the Badgers side. Chapman. Wow. Chapman. Chapman. She is chapping that ball. Yeah, that's somebody who's really important for her team. Is Chapman, she was pretty big in the game against Michigan State. Unfortunately, didn't do enough to help her team, but they really need her to have a good game if they want to beat Illinois. Chapman serves it over the top. Going to be blocked out in front, and that one's going to be sent out of play. Give the ball to the Illini, 19-15. Hits that one off the double block and sends it all the way across court. So that's technically a tool block and a tool kill, but you, you don't know too much about that, Chris. <laughs> I, I just know that we were saying different tools. Tools. <laughs> Left-hand side going to be sent down by number 12. That's going to be Mickelson. Sent over the top. Oh, man, she sends that one right into the net. Liz McMahon trying to go uh, with a little bit of a d diversion tactic, trying to square her body towards the left side of the court and send it to the right. Misses the opportunity there. Back to serve for the Badgers. Amory Hickey. Big jumps there. Actually kind of tames it down. Sends that one over right-hand side. Going to be sent over by number 14, McMahon. Bump left-hand side. Oh, not going to be able to pick it up cleanly. Number 13 and number 14, Allie Starks and Liz McMahon. And that back line not being able to pick that one up cleanly as Mickelson gets the kill. And Illinois opening the door now for Wisconsin. Sends it over the top, right-hand side. Stop! Dump! I'm channering my inner, inner Pete right there. Beautiful dump right there by Annie Lurson to get the point back for the Illini. And back to serve, Morgan Criswell. Jump serve, sends it over, picked up by Chapman. Right-hand side, sends it over to the left-hand side. Going to be picked up and sent over. Oh, going to play that one. Sends it over left-hand side. Going to be picked up by Beltran. Sends it over. Over to Burks. Gets the kill, but that one's going to go out of bounds. Thought she was able to snap that one down, but they're going to call that one out. 2018, Illini still lead by two. Kyle Griffin alongside Chris Labosco here at the Great Lakes Volleyball Center. Yeah, she was close to getting it down on that back line. Just a little bit too much. Workman sends it over right-hand side. Brooks missed, plays that one. But going to be picked up cleanly and sent over by Chris Will on the bump. Going for the dump and getting it. Not going to be as dramatic as last time. But Thomas right there, able to get the dump. And that was a very beautiful one. She recognized it coming. Slapped it down. 21-18. Yeah, oh, they're not going to give it to her. They're going to give the net violation. Oh, wow. Back to serve, Jackie Wolf. Thomas sends it over, rough hand side. Going to be Rushel playing with it at the net. Sends it back over to Rushel. Blocked off. Going to be bumped up by Burke. Sends it back over one time. Down by Anna Dorn. Beautiful one set right there from Annie Lurson. 
Yeah, a couple points away from Illinois, and then if they get this set, they'll be one set away from sealing it up with a victory as well. Jackie Wolf back to serve again. Jump serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up by Chapman. Sends it over to Thomas from the 10-foot line, and that one's going to go out of play as Chapman sends that one, and it's not being able to be picked up cleanly by the Illini. 22-19. Badgers still trying to claw their way back into this. Pun they're, intended. They're not, the, the thing is too, they're not too far away either. I mean, they've been able to keep it close is the big thing. Got to keep the serve. You don't want to, you don't want to give another point or two to Illinois. You want to try and keep it here and get back as many points as you can. Lindsey Seal with the serve for the Badgers. Going to be sent over to Burks. Hey, she's going to try and tape kill that one. Well, that one's going to roll off of the tape and out of play. 22-20 is your score. Back to serve again, Lindsey Seal. Bounces it a couple of times. Stands back. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Burks. Sent over by Lurson. Back to Burks. Going to be picked up cleanly in that back row by number 18, Olander. Sent over by Chapman. Set over to Burks. Off the tip. Give her the kill. Jocelyn Burks. 23-20. Big point there, too, for Illinois. Getting that serve back. Especially with only the three-point gap now. Annie Lurson with the serve. Lefty sends that one over. He picked up. And Toms has to hit that one over. Amory Hickey sends that one over with the set. Sent over one kill. And a Dorn. That one kill is lethal when Annie Lurson gets it in the perfect position. 24-20 set point here. Yeah, they get this one. They get ever so closer to winning this tournament. And checking in for Lindsey Seal is going to be Demi Morales. And back to serve still is Annie Lurson. Left hand sends that one over. Going to pick on the newly checked in. Amory Hickey sends that one over to Chapman. Going to be picked up by Chriswell in the back row. Towards the middle, Chriswell sends that one. Ooh. They're going to call that one out of bounds. Yeah, it was definitely out. 24-21 from my standpoint. That was close. I mean, it was definitely close, but it was definitely on the other side of the white line. And really, though, Mitchell sends that one over. Left-hand side going to be sending that one over to number 14, Liz McMahon. And self-preservation by Alexis Mitchell not being able to get that one. 25-21. Is how the first one's going to end. As the Illini take out the Badger in the first set. And we'll be right back in about three minutes. As the Badgers look to rebound after a set one loss to the Illini. We'll be right back here. ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. Where we are in a league of our own. And it's not just sports. It's a way of life. Hey, this is Dr. P, SportstownChicago.com, inviting you to check out the Team Dow Wellness Tip of the Week. Their weight release program helped me drop over 50 pounds and over 10 pant sizes. Visit our homepage at SportstownChicago.com or TheEdgeOnAir.com to find out the Team Dow Wellness Tip of the Week. Hey guys, it's Pete McMurray. Every time I'm out and about, people always ask, Pete, how do I become a DJ? How can I hang out at cool concerts, go backstage, and most importantly, be on the air? Well, I'm here to tell you about the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting trains you for a career in radio, TV, and web design on air and behind the scenes. Classes meet three days or nights a week, and in less than a year, you'll be ready to start your career in broadcasting. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting offers hands-on training, exciting internships, job placement assistance, and financial aid for those who qualify. They'll help get you into a career that you can love at their suburban campus in Lombard. They're enrolling now for upcoming classes and seats are filling up quickly to get started go to beonair.com slash rock that's beonair.com slash rock or you can text rock to 33239 that's rock to 33239 the illinois center for broadcasting where broadcasting careers begin hey this is dr p sportstownchicago.com inviting you to check out the team dow wellness tip of the week their weight release program helped me drop over 50 pounds and over 10 pant sizes. Visit our homepage at sportstownchicago.com or theedgeonair.com to find out the Team Dow Wellness Tip of the Week. 
Hey guys, it's Pete McMurray. Every time I'm out and about, people always ask, Pete, how do I become a DJ? How can I hang out at cool concerts, go backstage, and most importantly, be on the air? Well, I'm here to tell you about the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting trains you for a career in radio, TV, and web design on air and behind the scenes. Classes meet three days or nights a week, and in less than a year, you'll be ready to start your career in broadcasting. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting offers hands-on training, exciting internships, job placement assistance, and financial aid for those who qualify. They'll help get you into a career that you can love at their suburban campus in Lombard. And back here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. The Illini take the first set, and Chapman gets the kill there to start us off in set number two. Good kill from that right side. Quick diversion had the Illini pulled towards their left. And going from near to far now are the Badgers. And from far to near are the Illini. Going to be picked up cleanly left-hand side. Going to be sent over by number 14, McMahon. Not going to be picked up by number 18, Olander. Couldn't get that one. Sorry, that's number 12. That is Julie Mickelson. Oh, but we're going to get a 2 nothing, as I don't know what they're going to call. Chapman sends it over the top. Going to be picked up cleanly. Sent down by Anna. But going to be picked up back row. Sent over by Amory Hickey. And kill. Give the kill to Mickelson. The Badgers start off fast 3 nothing. Way they want to start, especially after that last one came down real close. Chapman sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Criswell, left-hand side. Sent down by Burks. Give her the kill as she starts off the firing squad for the Illini. Back to serve for the Illini is Annie Lurson. Lefty sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Chapman. Sent over left-hand side. Going to be sent and kept in is going to be number five, Bailey Reschel. She, I'm going to call her thumbs because she still has them bad boys taped up. And back to serve for the Badgers. Libro Amory Hickey picked up. Left-hand side, Lurson sends that one over to Burks. Going to be picked up and sent down and off the head of Mickelson as number five, Anna Dorn. Posterizes her. Woo. That would that would hurt. I would hate yeah. to get hit in the face with a volleyball. Yeah, that, that, those facials definitely would not feel good. I mean, Jocelyn Burks back to serve. Picked up by Amory Hickey. Going to be sent over left hand side. Going to be Rushel. She's going to get blocked right back in her face. As Liz McMahon and Anna Dorn team up for the double block. Yeah, I mean, get it. <laughs> Going back to what we were talking about before, if it, that happens, you're okay with it, though. Yeah. You know, Burks back to serve. Going to be picked up by Chapman, sent over right-hand side. Left-hand side, off the tool block. Tool kill right there by number 12, Julie Mickelson, who's going to check out. And number 16 is going to come in for her. That's Caroline Workman. And also checking back in is Courtney Thomas. Back to serve Workman. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Criswell. Sent over left-hand side. Picked up back rope. Bump. Ten-foot line Chapman. Going to be picked up by Lurson. Bumped over by Beltran. Over to number 14. Down and kill Liz McMahon. That was vicious. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, Illinois look off to a slow start in this set but really starting to gain some momentum back right now. 5-4, the Illini lead. Beltran, jump serve, picked up by Hickey. Sent over by Thomas, backslide kill. Off the block. Going to be tipped out of play by number 10, Alexis Mitchell. Give the point to the Badgers. 6-4, sorry, the Badgers had the lead. Kind of confused me because the Illini were the visitors in the, in the first set. So, kind of threw me for a loop there. Of course. Back got, to they got to keep you on your toes. Yeah. Rushel sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Burks. Joust at the net. One by Mitchell. Woo! 7-4. Rushel back to serve. Dribbles it like a basketball. 
spins it in her hand a couple times. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Burks. Over. Left-hand side. And off the net is Criswell. The Badgers continue to roll along here. 8-4. And still serving is Bailey Russell. Bounces it. Spins a couple times. Standing serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Beltran. Sent over left-hand side by Worson. Off the block. Going to be picked up by Hickey. Backslide, 10-foot line, kill, going to be picked up by Burks. Lurson sends that one over to Criswell. Going to be blocked in her face. Alexis Mitchell, three blocks in a row. Timeout Illini. And we're going to take it with them. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about 55 seconds here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. SportstownChicago.com brings you the inside information and winning strategies from the top coaches in the state of Illinois for high school sports in their web video series, The Coach's Corner. Hear about how the coaches and players of the elite teams in the state practice in the offseason, stories that inspire them to achieve, pregame rituals, superstitions, and much more. Find out how the best of the best are the best with the Sportstown Chicago Coaches Corner. Only on SportstownChicago.com in a league of our own. Ah, a little bit of cold play. Not too uh, not too cold outside, so I can't make a pun there. Uh, it was yesterday, though. I'll tell you that. I was a little bit chilly. I had shorts on. So not the smartest of ideas. Back to Sir Stills Russell for the Badgers. Picked up by Beltran, sent over left-hand side. Going to be killed by Criswell. Going to be picked up back row. Going to be sent over by Rushel. And Marie Hickey has to side bump that one over. Going to be picked up Jendrick. Gallin for the one kill as Thompson sends that one back over to Chapman. And Jocelyn Burks has to slap at that one. Not going to get there as the Badgers continue to cruise. 10-4. And still serving Bailey Rushel. Yeah, unfortunately for her, that, that ended up being a bad decision because it let them set up one of the best killers on that Wisconsin team. And that serve by Rushel goes out of the back of the court, finally stopping the bleeding for the Illini. That 10-5 is your score. Chris Lobosco alongside myself, Kyle Griffin. Just want to thank Dr. Pete and Joe Pitt for helping us out today. As that one gets sent into the net by Liz McMahon on the serve, get a gift from the Badgers, and you give it right back. Regifting all over the place here. 11-5, back to serve Mitchell. Definitely don't want to regift the point. Oh, Lurson with the slap dump. Woo! That was beautiful. 11-6. She goes, all right, I want my gift back. Yeah, pretty much. She asked for it. She didn't ask for it back. She, she demanded took it. it. Yeah, she took it. Criswell served, picked up by Hickey. Set, Thomas, 10-foot line. Going to be picked up, back row by Criswell. Lurson sends that one over to Burks. Off the tip, going to be picked up cleanly once again. Left-hand side, Chapman sends that one over. Oh, man, should have let that one go. Allie Starks has to try and side bump that one, but Criswell was in the back. She should have let that one go. Yeah, it's one of those split-second decisions where you have to realize where the players are around you before you make a decision. Catherine Kvass sends that one over. Going to be picked up cleanly, left-hand side. Lurson sends that one over to Burks. Burks down. Burks kill. Mama Mia. Burks with a beautiful kill. 12-6. And now the Illini trying to start back on that comeback row. They've put themselves into a six-point hole that they got to try and dig themselves out of. Wolf back to serve for the Illini. Sends that one up, going to be picked up by Chapman, who sends that one all the way over. Lurson sets off to Burks. Hickey sends that one over right-hand side. Going to be picked up back row, and that one goes out of bounds by number five, Bailey Rushel. She tries to catch that one from the 10-foot line, and that one uh, goes sailing out of play. Jackie Wool still back to serve. 12 sevens your score. A little bit of a jump serve. Going to be picked up by Hickey in the back row. Left-hand side, Chapman joust at the net, has to punch that one over. Lurson over to Anna Dorn, 
Sends that one over right-hand side. Back set to number 12. That's going to be off the block. Going to be picked up cleanly. Amory Hickey sends that one over to number 12. That's going to be Mickelson. This rally continues and blocked right out in front as they keep this one alive. Burks has to side bump that one over. Amory Hickey out in front. Sends that one over left-hand side. Chapman has to punch that one as she ends the rally with a one-handed side punch in a very, very awkward position. But they left that back corner wide open and exposed. And they took advantage of it. That they did. Catherine Voss. Oh, no, she's not going to be back to serve. It's going to be Ellen Chapman back to serve. Standing serve sends that one over. Going to be picked up by number 13, Ellie Starks. Left-hand side over to Burks. Burks down. Burks kill. She is not going to let the Illini go away easy. No, definitely not. There are a lot of players on this Y9 team. I mean, there's a reason why they were as highly ranked as they were. Yep. 13-8, your score. Sends it over as Annie Lurson. Picked up by Chapman. Left-hand side going to be sent over the top by Mickelson. Lurson to Anna Dorn. Dorn, you complete me. I think that's stretching it. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think of a major league reference, but I can't think of one that's rather appropriate. No, that's, there, there's really not many that are. <laughs> Annie Lurson back to serve again. Left hand, jump serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Chapman. Has to send that one over as Mickelson. And Chapman tries to one hand slap that one over. But no luck there. She sends that one into the net. 13-10 is your score. I mean, that, that's like trying to find a reference almost for like something like Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. But other than that, there's nothing. <laughs> Lurson sends that one over. Left-hand side. That one goes into the net. Bailey Reschel had a good set. Just came through a little bit too quick on that kill attempt, I should say. Give the point to the Illini. 13-11. Still back to serve. Annie Lurson. And doing that will open up the door, too, for the Illini. Now that they're back to within two points. Picked up by Hickey, sent over left-hand side. Chapman gets the 10-foot tape kill. 14-11 as the Badgers stop the bleeding for a second. Yeah. And Marie Hickey back to serve. That one went off the wall, and this ain't Wally ball. Anna Dorn picks that one up. Left-hand side, Lurson over to Criswell, or over to Burke. Sorry, I thought that was a one. Off the tool. Ooh, almost getting there is Annie Lurson. But she can't, and give the point to the Badgers as they send that one off the tool. 15-11, and Marie Hickey back to serve once again. Switching sides, you know, not too comfortable over on the right. Moves over to the left, sends that one over. Burks picks it up cleanly. Lurson to Anna Dorn. Bump back row Chapman. Having to send that one over is Anne Marie Hickey on the front bump. Beltran to Lurson. One kill off the tool. And Adorn, give her the half-court tool. 15-12, and back to serve. Too, put too much loft under that one when she sent it over, which allowed for Illinois to take an easy control of the ball and set up a nice little kill. Burks off the tape, picked up back row by Hickey. Left hand, going to be picked up. And trying to jump. Ooh, that one hits Burks right in the face. As that kind of catches her in a no-woman's land between the bump and the set. You know, didn't know what she wanted to go with there. But good kill nonetheless by Russell. And that's always a difficult thing, too, is that spot right there where you're not sure if you should bump it or if you should set it. Yep. You have to make your decision and stick with it. Workman sends that one over right-hand side. Going to be picked up by Criswell. And can't be picked up cleanly by Dorn as Criswell hit that one into the net. 17-12 is your score. And Workman back to serve once again. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Criswell. Lurson, backhand side. Over to McMahon. Picked up cleanly. Thomas, over to Rushill. Sends that one through the block of Dorn and McMahon. 18-12. Workman, back to serve again. Jump serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Burke's backside. Lurson, back set. Going to be, ooh, off the tip of Thomas as number 14 Liz McMahon sends that one down 
18-13, back to serve Beltran, the Libro for the Illini. And they stopped the bleeding now. Now they're going to try and get back those points back that they lost. They made up a lot of groundwork to try and catch up with Wisconsin, but Wisconsin went right back, and Amory Hickey bumped. That one's going to be sent down as Beltran can't get that one. Give the kill to number 10, Alexis Mitchell. And, and part of that reason is, is Wisconsin has really picked up their play here in the middle of the set. Reschel set serve going to be picked up by Burks as she misplays that one going for a directional bump over to Lurson misplays that one 2013 the Badgers five points away from taking this one to a game three Reschel standing serve sends that one over going to be picked up by Criswell over the top and in the back row can't get that one is number 16 Taylor Onion or number 18, sorry, that's Courtney Abrahamovich. And Rushel back to serve again. Sends that one over, Beltran picks it up. Bumps over to Larson. Left hand side, gonna be picked up by Liz McMahon. Sends that one over, left hand side, Chat off the block. Gonna be bumped up by Rushel, back over to Chapman. Off the block once again, Thomas. 10 foot line, Rushel off the block. Can't be picked up cleanly by Chriswell. Chriswell. Can't pick that one up, and neither can Beltran. 22-13, a nine-point lead for the Badgers. And that was one they actually had time that they probably could have gotten to, but just not recognizing where the ball was going to go. Reschel over to Beltran. Lurson, quick set over the middle. Jenna, or not Jenna, sorry, Jessica. I'm so used to calling her younger sister from Bennett. That I uh, almost called her her sister's name. 22-14. <laughs> Back to serve, Liz McMahon. Runs up a little bit. Jump serve, sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Thomas. Left-hand side, Chapman sends that one over. Going to be picked up clean. That one rolls over the top of the tape. And Marie to Chapman. Down, picked up by Beltran. Lurson, right-hand side. That one's going to be sent down back on the side of the Illini. Oh, nope. Yep, that, that, that's going to drop down on the side of the Illini. The Badgers... 23-14, still with a nine-point lead. Mitchell, back to serve. Picked up by number 13, Stark. Left-hand side, sent down to Criswell, picked up by Mitchell. Bumped up by Thomas to Chapman. Picked up, back row. Sends over, left-hand side, over to Criswell. Mitchell picks that one up for the Badgers. Russell sends that one over, but that one's going to go off the antenna as Chapman had to try and slap that one over with the left hand, but sends that one into the antenna. 23-15, the Illini with the serve. A lot of ground that the Illini have to make up here in the second set if they want to try and stay alive. Otherwise, it's going to have to go to a third game. Criswell sends that one into the net. And that's not the way you want to start a rally. No. As you give the ball back and to that, the bad. And now you have to play mistake-free until you get to 24 points. Yep. Which is nine points away from where you are. Nine straight points they need. Catherine Kvass sends that one over. That's going to be hit off the tape. Going to be picked up by Stark. Right-hand side, Lurson. Sends that one over to Burks. Going to be picked up cleanly by Rushel in the back row. Going to be sent back over to the other side from the Illini. Going to be Rushel. And Lurson joust at the net. Jendrick slapped down. Going to be picked up by Rushel back row. Chapman sends that one over. Punched in the air by Starks. Not going to get there. 25-15 is the way the second set's going to end. Who's going to take it in the third? Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it only goes to 15. 25-15 is the way that one's going to end. The first set ended 25-21. So we'll be right back for set three action on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, with hands-on training and face-to-face -face industry networking, has helped launch several great broadcasting careers. Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate, Jarrell Jernigan. At ICB, the most important lesson that I learned was that you get what you put into it. The days that you're at school, you have class for only four hours, and that doesn't do any justice. You actually have to put forward the time, grab an internship, 
You can't learn anything unless you're actually there at a real station learning what goes on. I'm currently at Cumulus Broadcasting, currently part-timer, helping out with anything between promotions to production to even on-air at times. And I couldn't have done that without the help of ICB and without an internship from Cumulus Broadcasting, 97ZOK. You just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit BeOnAir.com. That's BeOnAir.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. My name is Rod, and I like to party. And we're Friday Night Hoops, your home for everything high school basketball. We're talking Richards, St. Rita, Lockport, Glenbard East, Glenbard West, Nequa Valley. You want high school basketball? We got high school basketball. And we like to party. No, I'm the only one who parties. I'm pretty sure I've partied before. No, Kevin, I know for a fact you don't party, okay? You do not party. You're right. Friday Night Hoops. We get the party started on SportstownChicago.com. Oh, my God. Shut up, okay? In Illinois, more than 300,000 students compete in interscholastic programs taking place in classrooms, auditoriums, gymnasiums, city parks, and stadiums. Students with extracurricular activities tend to have higher grade point averages, better attendance, lower dropout rates, and fewer discipline problems. IHSA sponsors 35 programs that enrich the educational experience and shape the lives of young people in a positive way. Support the schools, teachers, coaches, sponsors, and students who take part in activities sponsored by the Illinois High School Association. Against my better judgment, putting this one in the queue, I kind of put that one in there for you, Chris. I know uh, you as a Sox fan, me as a Cubs fan, I don't stop believing, unlike some uh, some Cubs fans. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I hate that song. So uh, we'll go. Uh, Catherine Cavas sends that one over. Joust at the net. Going to be uh, won by the Illini. Going to be sent over by Feldman. Left-hand side. Lurson has to send that one over, over to Burks. Burks off of Anne-Marie Hickey, who sends that one into the wall. Give Burks the kill. And the Illini start off with the point. Back to serve, Annie Lurson. Back to serve once again. Left-hand serve. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up by Chapman. Has to set it over is Annie Marie. Going to be picked up by Beltran, left-hand side. Sends it over. Burks off the tip. Sends it over to Anne-Marie Hickey. Left-hand side, down. Julie Mickelson. 1-1. One, one. This is going to be a very good last set. No Neither doubt. team wants to give up. Chapman serves it over the top. Going to be picked up by Beltran. Sent over by Lurson. Over to number 15, McMahon. Back row. Can't get there. Beautiful, beautiful tip over the top by Mickelson. Sending that one into the corner. 2-1. Back to serve Chapman. Last time these two played was in October. 3-1. Illinois won. Burks blocked out in front. And, and Adorn. Getting picked up cleanly by left-hand side. Dressel, woo, sends that one right down the line. Dressel walks the line. Oh, yeah, she walks the line. 3-1 Badgers. Chapman back to serve again. Standing serve. Sends that one. Going to be picked up cleanly to the left-hand side. Over to Burks. Down. And Marie Hickey can't pick that one up. Burks has her number in this set. 3-2 Badgers still lead. Now she's going back for the serve as well for her team. Stepping up big here early, getting her team back to within one here, even though it's early. Yes, they are. Burks serves it over the top. Going to be picked up by Chapman, left-hand side. Back row. Going to be punched over by Dreschel. Annie Dorn sends that one down for all your roofing needs. Called Dorn and Associates. <laughs> And Burks back to serve again. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one going to be picked up by Rushel. Back over to Rushel, left-hand side. Off the block of Dorn and McMahon. 4-3, Badgers back on top. Yeah, the, probably going to be a lot of lead changes here in this last game. Probably. Sends it over as Hickey. Dorn off the tip. 
Left hand side. Over to gonna be tried to be punched out of the air by Beltran, but she can't get there. As the Badgers continue to lead 5-3. The other two courts are done as well, so this is the only pool left. This final game to decide who's gonna take home the championship for this spring tournament. Yep. Hickey sends that one over. Gonna be picked up right hand side. Sent over left hand side off the tip. And out of play, I think that one might have gone off her head as Reschel gets the block and bounces that one out of play. And that one came from the likes of Lizzie McMahon. Back to serve Beltran. Jump serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up by Chapman. Sent over right-hand side. Down and kill for Julie Mickelson. 6-4 is your score. And some substitutions coming in. Back in is Thomas. And in to serve your serve specialist, Caroline Workman. Sends that one over. Going to be picked up left-hand side by Allie Stark. Back set from Larson. Down and kill Liz McMahon. These outsides for both teams are working out right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's really been the strength. So. Lately here for both teams, making it uh, Liz McMahon, sir, picked up by Workman, sent over left-hand side, Rushill picked up back row by Burks, Larson backhand serve, down and kill, oh, that one oh, almost came man. up, I was hoping I was going to be able to catch that one, I'm sure you saw it on the cameras, because that scared me and I didn't even expect it, I couldn't see, because you could only see where it bounced, and then all of a sudden it came up right here. I think it's God's way of saying, I, I was ready. wake up, Kyle. I was actually ready for it. It was to come <laughs> here, Liz but McMahon, it didn't. Back to serve again. Picked up, back row by Hickey. Sent over by Thomas, left-hand side, Rushell. Picked up by Beltran. Larson sends that one over. Going to be trying to be punched over by Allie Stark, but not going to be able to do that as that one goes into the antenna. Six. Seven, sorry, make that seven, six, Badgers lead. And this is <laughs> staying really at this one-point deficit for whatever team. Reschel serves over the top, picked up by Burks. Going to be sent over by Beltran, over right-hand side to Starks. Picked up by Thomas, back left-hand side. Sends it over, back over to Chapman. Beltran, self-preservation. Left-hand side, Allie Starks blocked out in front. Alexis Mitchell and Courtney Thomas. Oh, so uh, we're going to get a switch in sides here. You know, we'll, we'll keep it yeah. here. Oh, it's only going to be a, a couple of seconds before we get back and situated. 8-6 Badgers lead. As uh, Reschel is still back to serve. And we are back underway. Dribbling it a couple times. Spins it in her hand. Standing serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up by Burks right in the backhand side. Sending it to the corner, and a beautiful, beautiful slap over the top by Annie Lurson. 8-7, back to serve, Allie Stark. Whew, this is intense, tell you that. You can hear the crowd go silent when it's ready. Stark, jump serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up, right-hand side. Thomas sends that one over to Chapman, backhand side, not going to be able to pick up cleanly as Allie Starks was moving to her left, and that ball came to the right from Chapman. 9-7, Badgers lead, Mitchell back to serve. Standing serve, sends that one over, going to be picked up by Jendrick. Dump! She is the dump master today. Give the dump to Annie Lurson, keeping it within one point. 9-8, back to serve, Jackie Wolf. Jump serve, let me picked up left-hand side. Thomas, 10-foot line off a of Dressel, and she hits that one off the block and sends that one out of play. And give the point to the Badgers. 10-8 is your score. Checking in is number 11, Catherine Voss. Dribbles it a couple of times. 
Jump serve, sends that one over, gonna be picked up by Burks. Lurson to Burks, Burks down. Burks kill. When that rotation comes around, you know where you're going. And so should the Badgers, because they're going right to Burks. Well, the big thing with the Badgers right now is they've, uh, they're, they're keeping the lead, even though Illinois keeps coming closer and closer, they keep moving farther and farther away. Annie Lurson with the serve over. And that's going to be a miscue right there by Catherine Voss as she slipped on the on the, the condensated floor trying to figure out where it was that she actually slipped. But that slip right there caused the Badgers to let this get tied up. 10-10 is your score. And back to serve once again for the Illini, Annie Lurson. I'm surprised she would actually use her hands to try and find where it is because your hands are probably sweaty too. Yeah. Chapman picks it up. Voss sends that one over to Dressel. Picked up by Amory Hickey. Voss, left-hand side. Going to run into their own players as Dressel sends that one back over to Voss. Ten-foot line Dressel as she sends that one into the net. 11-10, Illini get the lead. We're going to take a quick timeout. 50 seconds away, and we'll be right back here, ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com and SportsTownChicago.com. Friday Night Hoops. Oh, we've got ball! Basketballs, that is. Yes, that's right. We're bringing you all the high school basketball news from around the area. Love it. Fridays from 5 to 7 p.m. only on SportsTownChicago.com. And back here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. The dual simulcast as the Illini finally get the lead back from the Badgers. 11-10. And Annie Lurson still serving to get this lead and get out of here with the W. Waiting for the signal. There it is. Lurson jump serve. Sends that one over but sends it into the net. Good time out there by coach for the Badgers. That is a killer when that happens. Chapman back to Sir. Burks bumps it over to Lurson. One kill and sends that one over. Oh, man. Back set, left-hand side. Down. Going to be a joust. Nope. Amory Hickey, left-hand side. Oh, man. This is getting nuts. Julie Mickelson pounds that one off the block of Jocelyn Burks and Anna Dorn to give the point to the Badgers. 12-11 Chapman sends that one over to Burks. It's going to be picked up by Lurson over to Burks. Burks down. That one catches the line. And another girl slips on the floor. I mean, this, wouldn't have gotten this, to that one anyway, but... No, yeah. she wouldn't have gotten there, but that's still... Yeah, dangerous. You, your legs come out from you like that. That's tough. 12-12, and back to serve, Jocelyn Burks. And then, if you're in the line, you got to be happy you got Chapman off the serve because that's when oh, Wisconsin had been really dangerous. And they can't pick it up cleanly as Catherine Voss sends that one into the net. 13-12, and another timeout by the Badgers. You know, we'll keep it here. Chris, what do the Badgers have to do to get these three points and got, get out of here with the W? Well, they got to limit their mistakes. That's really been their problem right here in this set is they've been making a couple of just minor mistakes that are costing them points that are keeping the Illini in it. They can eliminate those. They really have a good shot of getting the win here and really making it, a, you know, making it really difficult to figure out who wins this pool. Yeah, I completely agree. They need to limit their mistakes. They've had a couple. You know, it doesn't help that they keep slipping, so they're kind of leery on, on what they have to do there. But, you know, the Illini just, just aren't going away, and the Badgers just have to play themselves. They beat them pretty handedly in that, uh, that second set, yeah. so they know, how to, they know how to beat them. So that's not a problem. So let's see what they can do here. Jocelyn Burks back to serve again. A little bit of a jump serve. Sends that one over to be picked up by Hickey. Voss sends that over left-hand side. Off the block. Beautiful timeout right there. Julie Mickelson tying it back up. 13-13. 
back to serve Anne Marie Hickey. The next two points are crucial. Jump serve, gonna be picked up by left hand side, right over the tip. Oh, and that one stays on the side of the Illini as number 14, Liz McMahon, was blocked one on one by Alexis Mitchell. She thought that one was going over on the Badger side, but it went up in the air and stayed on the Illini side. 14 13, picked up right hand side. Lurson over to number 14, and that is how it will end. 15-13 is your score. You know, we're going to take a timeout and figure out exactly how this all works out. Because of the Badgers winning now, we have to figure this out. So we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll come back, let you know how everything is going to pan out, and then we'll get out of here. But 15-13, the Badgers win the third set, lose the first one 25-21, and then win the second, 25-16. So we'll be right back here on SportstownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com momentarily. SportstownChicago.com is the Internet sports station that is located at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard, Illinois. We offer you a chance, or should I say an opportunity, to become an on-air personality, get invited to live sporting events, and we teach you how to interact with your listeners. Get the training you need to get in the broadcasting industry. Just go to SportsTownChicago.com or dial 630-916-1700. SportsTownChicago.com is now bringing you behind the scenes with contestants from NBC's The Biggest Loser. Holy cow! Check out SportsTownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser to download exclusive interviews with past contestants and winners. Why are we so blessed? Listen as they talk dieting, sports, hobbies, and life after The Biggest Loser. So log on to SportsTownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser now. God bless the internet. SportsTownChicago.com in a league of our own. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, with hands-on training and face-to-face -face industry networking, has helped launch several great broadcasting careers. Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate Danielle Tufano. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting was the stepping stone that I needed to start my career in radio. They told me I needed to be ready to work hard, and I was. I worked and I worked in my internship, which led to a few different temporary jobs in radio, and now I'm doing middays for the station I interned at. Essentially, I worked my way up from the very bottom of the totem pole, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but it's what I wanted, so I made it happen. You just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Kickstart your career in radio or television now. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit BeOnAir.com. That's BeOnAir.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, with hands-on training and face-to-face industry networking has helped launch several great broadcasting careers. Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate Mike Kurtz. How did ICB help me? Let's just say this one simple thing. Take advantage of everything from studio time to everything that they have, all the equipment that's available to you. Go out, get your internship. This is what I did. I put everything in one pile, went out, got my internship, got hired on part-time before I even graduated ICB. Within two months after graduation, I was hired on full-time in the production department. Guess what? Now I got the best of both worlds. Monday through Friday, it's production. Every Saturday night, I have my own show on air at 96.7 The Eagle. Classic rock that really rocks. You just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit BeOnAir.com. That's BeOnAir.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. Hello, dance fans. Are you ready to find out all the inside information about the world of dance in the greater Chicagoland area? Make sure to tune in to Just Dance Chicago. Every Thursday afternoon, only on SportstownChicago.com. Find out the latest news on dance information, auditions, what to wear, how to style yourself, and get insight from all the experts in the world of dance.
So tune in to Just Dance Chicago Thursday afternoons only on SportstownChicago.com. Everybody, this is Dr. Pete from Sports Town Chicago. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. And get back here on SportstownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. And that's the boom boom pow of the Badgers, and because that's how it's gonna end. The Badgers taking out the Illini in three sets, losing the first one and winning the last two. So we were just told in the explanation of everything, this is technically a, a non-winning tournament. You know, it's, right. it's essentially just a practice for these girls. But in terms of everything, all the teams have one loss. Right. So everything comes down to two sets. Two sets and how many you won, everything like that. Well, Illinois lost to Wisconsin. Or that yeah, to Wisconsin, Michigan State beat, beat, beat Wisconsin. Beat Wisconsin. So, but they lost to Illinois. Yeah, but they lost to Illinois. So we have to figure out points. So by <laughs> going by that, the sets, Michigan State lost in two to Illinois. Yep. But one in two to Wisconsin. So then you have to look at the Illini and, the, and Wisconsin. Wisconsin lost to t- in two one. But it took three sets to win because they lost one. So that means Wisconsin is out. Yep. That means it comes down to Michigan State and, and the Illini. Illinois. And the Illini took three sets, so they won one more than Michigan State won. So therefore, it would be an Illini victory overall. Yes, it would be. And so, second would be Michigan State. So it's going to go Illini, Michigan State, and Wisconsin. That's how things are going to end here. And that's going to do it for us. Great week or great day of volleyball. Started yeah. off this morning at 9 o'clock. Had uh, great coverage. And uh, don't forget, we want a big thank you to our main sponsor, the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Got two campuses, one out here close to Aurora, out in Lombard, and one in downtown Chicago. If you are interested in doing what we do, calling volleyball, calling any other sports, or just broadcasting in general, Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 and also our Chicago campus at 312-884-8000 or check out beonair.com. That's B-E-O-N-A-I-R.com. So we are going to end in a thrilling fashion, according to Chris, (laughs) with uh, the thriller bet here. So that's going to do it for me, Kyle Griffin, Chris Labosco. Big thanks to Dr. Pete and intern Joe and everybody back at the stations, Rick and Brian Singleman. So we're going to get out of here. We'll see you guys on Monday as we got uh, a lot, a lot of high school action coming up. So stay tuned for that. Check out the website. And we're out of here. ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and SportstownChicago.com. Have a good evening. You love watching and talking about sports, so why not turn that passion into a career in sports broadcasting at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting? Hi, I'm Matt Abaticola from Sports Radio 670, The Score, Chicago's number one sports talk station. I wouldn't be where I'm at today without the time that I spent at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. For more information, go to beonair.com forward slash Chicago Sports or text Chicago Sports to 33239. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where sports broadcasting careers begin. Have you ever wanted a career in sports broadcasting? Matt Abaticola here for the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Their 10-month program offers hands-on training in both radio and television. Learn on-air and behind-the-scenes skills just like I did at ICB.